Hi again, we're back. Matthew's modelling. Um, we've got another one to show you. And, well, I don't think I need to give this any introduction. Um, I'm sure you can all see just from here. That it is the iconic Hornby Dock Shunter. Um, yeah, a golden oldie. But a golden oldie that um, I haven't ever owned until now. And it's one that's been missing from my fleet for quite some time. Um, I have in my head like a little list of little locos that I, you know, I need to get to the fleet and want to own. Um, and one of the old Hornby Dock Shunters was on there. And we now eventually <coughs> have one. Um, as you can see, big. Oh, I thought that it was big anyway, a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Um, I haven't even seen one in the flesh, but just viewing it from here through the viewfinder, um, you can really see how much bigger these these are. But nevertheless, we'll uh, go in for a close look. So here it is. This is now my version of a hard reduction to. So obviously the colour. This isn't an original colour. Um, this came in the yellow livery, um, but someone had tried to give it a bit of a, a funky paint job. Uh, the front nose here, this whole front nose section was red, and the doors were red, and a couple of these grills on either side were red, as well against the yellow, um, which, yeah, did look good. <laughs> it's not something you see every day, yellow and red on a... An adduction to um but in the flesh and in reality um it looked awful a very shabby paint job and yeah it really didn't look good and uh, it did it no favors whatsoever so i've sprayed it um into this very light blue which i've used this blue on a few projects now um but i like it it's a good blue it's a really good uh, color to to weather and uh, contrast things against um, so far so obviously we've had the blue repaint um, axle boxes down here I've now picked out in yellow with a little red little red um, builders thing in the middle of the as they have um, this is the wasp striped buffer beam version they didn't all come with wasp stripes this one does um, this one also didn't come with buffers. Um, they did do bufferless dock shunters, and this was the one with just the, the squares on the buffer being where the buffers should be. So I fitted buffers uh, a little bit smaller than I would have liked, may uh, make some larger heads. But for now, they'll do. Um, and then the, um, the molded lighting on the front, I may have to move it actually. Pick one out in silver one out in red um, oh, sorry for the pause in play there um, moodle interrupted uh, but yeah as I just said so I've picked out the molded lights that front one in silver one in red um, and then I've started to weather so obviously the, the front grill there has been heavily weathered and um, the smaller grills on the side and then on the bonnet roof has started with some black washes. Obviously, this is one that's uh, a long way off finishing. Um, I mean, we've got no decals on there of any sort, uh, no detailing really as yet, you know, pipes, picking out um, handrails, things like that. Um, and then, and probably the biggest problem with it is it's a crap runner. <laughs> um, now, I've always known once one of these has landed in our possession, I've never expected it to be the best runners. I mean, this is one of the oldest Hornby Locos going. Alas, very successful and popular, but also an old, old one. And, you know, this wasn't um, a millionaire's purchase. Um, it was one for me to do up like I do. Um, but I, I'm not one for starting to rip apart motors and things like that so for now it has been replaced with just some metal wheels so it is just a free rolling dummy loco uh, which has done me fine you know it's going along double heading and banking and things like that which is fine for me for now um, but I do think I might have to send it off to 
Sam's train, something like that, you know, for them to have a, a good a good look at it. Um, it did run ish, and the headlight at the front also works. Um, but all those wires and coils and cogs and things in there, not uh, not one for me to be starting to play with. But for now, this is how she's looking. Um, again, this is a project that's gone quite well, and uh, looking forward to finishing. But yeah, this is just another one in the list to show you all. Again, as usual, let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.